So I have this animation here, and it's a ball bouncing. Goes down, hits the ground, comes back up, and I want this frame right here to be right here. I want the frame at one to be at five, so at five, so the ball can return to its original position. But if I do this, if I copy this frame, and I paste it here, paste insert, and I don't need this, and I edit this, then it edits the last frame. I want, I don't want that. I want them to be two, well, maybe you want that for this situation, but in case you want them to be two frames that are individual of one another, that if you edit one, it won't change the other. See if I do this, then this will have that on it. And I don't, I don't want that. I don't want them to be connected. What you have to do is this. So get rid of the frame that you copied and give yourself some, a new blank frame. You take, you go to the first frame, you do, hit select tool, select your area. It might be on rectang rectangular, so just select the drawing. Control C, go down to this frame. I'm gonna draw to create a new frame and hit Control V. So what you have to do is copy the drawing and not the frame. The f if you copy the frame, it's going to make the frames connected. Um, but if you copy the drawing on the frame, like the drawing on here, then it's not, and it's not going to um, make the frames related at all. As you see, if I edit this, then it doesn't change this one. That's how that works. And if you want the feature where you draw and it creates a frame for you, you all you got to do is go to File, Preferences, um, Drawing. Let's see, yes. And then you do Auto Creation. Use X Sheet as Animation Sheet and make sure to enable Auto Sketch Frame. That's it. Th hope that helped you, and I'll see you guys next time.